how to spot fake Ray-Ban Justin sunglasses okay first of all as you can see this is how it's set it up when it's a replica version and that's how it comes it comes in a box which, with a pouch with a cloth um, it's like a, a booklet and a, it's like a tag okay and it comes in a plastic packet and with another inner a plastic uh, um, screen is that is like a thin version of the plastic which just cover um, protects the lenses okay so first of all i'll start off with the box as you can see normally um every box is okay when they come you can see that you will see the difference with the original one and the fake one by the quality that the box is made out with this is made out of the i think the i think the poorest um quality um, of material I think because as you can see I feel as you can see I, as soon as I tried taking it off I, most of the parts already got torn or uh, torn as you can see and it's already got damaged and as you can see there's a lot of crease here there's a crease there um, without even doing anything to the box that's how that's how you know the box itself is very in a made out of very poor quality material this is just a um, quick way to actually find out by just looking at the box okay now as you can see it comes in a plastic um in a it's like a folks a folks lever and um, pouch here all right um on the button as you can see hopefully my camera I, can't, I don't think my camera can capture it but it says ray on it all right but it's, it's like it's like um the layer is smudged that's one one way Another way um, is to find out is by the cloth. Now, more, obviously, this is a big branded um, sunglass, all right? It's a designer brand. It has the logo here, all right? That's fine. Now, what the problem is m most of um, cloths have is if it was an expensive cloth, you shouldn't get damaged by just stretching it, all right? As you can see, when you stretch this, um, it tends to get that kind of. Um, how do I ex describe it? But it's, um, it's like. It tends to get more creased and get smaller, and then like the middle part gets more, it gets tighter. I can't really explain how what I'm trying to say, but um, you will realize when you get a replica version and you try just try stretching it and try stretching your um, original cloth. All right, you will see the difference. On top of that, you will get um, a booklet, obviously like this, it has all it has all different languages. Um, just goes through a few um, information about this sunglass. All right. So um, at the end of the day, this booklet there's nothing really to see. Um, you can't really see any difference between this book. All right. Um, here's the actual tag, which it comes should be on this. All right. Now, as you can see clearly, all right. You can see here. And the back, as you can see, the color of the actual outline. As you can see, the red outline. All right, and the inside outline as well. All right, the colors are coming off. Clearly, you can see that, and the actual logo um, bit as well. The name is actually the color of, of the silver part is already coming off as well. Now, that tends to happen to any um, counterfeit products. The logo or any sorts of writing on the um, anyway on the sunglass, the pouch anyway, they tend to fade off um, very soon. Might not fade off when you first get it, but it will fade off eventually. All right, but that won't happen to your orig original sunglass. Another way to actually find out is the stitching, all right? Most any most of the um, counterfeit products, you can just see it by looking at the stitching, all right? The stitch, the way the stitching is done, some of the time it's not accurate, all right? It's not straight or the uh, stitches are undone. And there's, there's all sorts of way, other, other ways to find out. But as you can see, this one, you can't see any different, um, you can't see any um, problems with the sti uh, stitching. But, you know, the actually the red bit here, as you can see, it's already that's already coming off, right? This hasn't been used, but I'm just saying, give it a week or two when you're going to put the sunglasses in, take it out, take it in. This whole part will come off, and you you'll be left with the the basic the forks lever bit, all right? And at the same time, the look, as you can see, the stitching is already coming off from the corner, all right? You see, eventually, the stitching will start coming off. And another way to actually find out is that the lack of quality of the um, forks lever, all right? 
I seen way bell um pouches. We had that it had that um, excellent. You see the difference when you use it. It has the excellent feel when you actually ha just hold held it up higher. Yeah? All right. So if you just hold both of them up, you see the quality. This this just feels like so, I don't know. Just can't think of a word. It just it just feels so rubbish and it doesn't feel. It just, it's not worth the price. That's all I could say. All right. It's not worth it. You rather pay the extra money just to buy the original version and it will last you twice as longer. Which it does, this will break now. I'm going to the sunglasses now. All right. First of all, you can see that. All right. This is a plastic packet. Who says Ray Ban on it? This genuine since 1937. All right. Now, I have never seen any sunglasses having this packet. Maybe some did, but most of the times I've never seen any Ray Bans having that. Same goes to this. I've never seen this having this as well. All right, this is Justin, as you can see. All right, it looks similar to Rayfords, but it's more wide and bigger. All right, just tiny bit different. Now it has the Rayban logo on the left corner, as you can see here, which is looks perfect. But from my eye, I can see that it's is actually gonna come off eventually. You can see it. All right, if you try scratching a couple of times, things it will start getting smudged. Now you got the sticker there, which you can't really see any difference with it. Now. Obviously, as you can see here, it has the um, the model number or the the code, which everyone says, all right, RB four one six five Justin, all right. Now on this side, it says Ray Ban, made in Italy, as you can see here, all right. Okay, that's fine. Now the other way to actually find out um, by using the sunglasses, the lens, all right. You know when he says it's UV four hundred or UV something something etc. All right, it's not actually what he says it is. Okay, to test it out, try using on on the sunlight. S so most of the times it works. All right, but sometimes it doesn't actually block out the sun for some reason. Okay, this is what I tried out with a few sunglasses. It doesn't actually block out the sun. All right, it's more damaging to your eyes. Then you know it will basically more it will damage your eyes if you buy the counterfeit because it, it's not the it's not a genuine sunglass you won't have they put any kind of um lenses on it now our original one will don't do won't do that kind of thing they will test it out etc before they actually sell it another way to actually find out is it's a l wait all right the difference this is very light and at the sa at the same time can you hear that. Alright, it rattles a lot. Alright, and you know, to be honest, a uh, very ex uh, big designer brand won't l rattle like that, and at the same time, it won't be very lightweight. It will have a, it will have that kind of weight feel like yeah, it's it's that quality, it's worth the price. Alright, this one doesn't have that, but it does look nice at the end of the day. I won't lie, Justin sunglasses looks quite nice. Alright, it's matte matte blue, and it has that grey finish at the bottom. Okay, um, so that's a few ways, and honestly, the last way to actually find out without even, you know, touching it or even seeing, looking at it for yourself is where you're buying it from, who you're buying it from. All right, if you're buying it from eBay and that, there's a more chance of being counterfeit. All right, if you buy it from a retail shop that's licensed to sell or of genuine stuff, then there's a bigger chance get a receipt with it. All right, online you'll get a receipt with it if you buy it from online shops or at retail shops also the dealer sellers know that and find out if they're genuine sellers they're licensed to sell authentic items all right don't buy from just random sellers from you know ebay amazon etc so thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe and i hope this video helped you out